Ray Allen. Give her a huge round of She is a native Santa Fe and, and a multi generational Nueve Mexicana, and she is now co director of programs for the New Mexico Women's Organization, which is a, a fabulous organization that offers programs for women and girls statewide. And in her copious spare time, she also is Santa Fe First District Councilwoman. Or maybe it's council person. I don't know how you woman, council woman. Give it up for her, please. A future mayor. Buenas tardes a todos. I just wanted to thank the interpreters today, the ASL interpreters. It's a lot of work, so thank you so much for being up here with us. Again, my name is Renee Villarreal. I'm Councilwoman for District 1, and I'm here today actually representing NewMexicoWomen.org, which is a statewide women's foundation where I get the wonderful privilege to serve as program director, co-director, working alongside with a group of fierce and dedicated and brilliant chingonas, one of them that's right in front of me right now. A little bit about our organization, NewMexicoWomen.org is the only statewide women's foundation in New Mexico and our mission is to advance opportunities for self-identifying women and girls statewide so they can lead self-sufficient, healthy, and empowered lives. Our strategic focus is primarily on gender justice and healing. We also do grant making, trainings, education, and research. Um, our work priorities are for women and girls in cl of color, including transgender women and gender non-conforming folks. In our community-based research and engagement that we do from around the state, folks are very clear, and we've heard over and over and loud, that we need affordable abortion access across the state. Abortion is critical. It's a critical part of the full range of reproductive health care and reproductive justice policies to which we all deserve access. In communities, our communities in New Mexico deserve access to comprehensive self sex education, contraceptives, affordable reproductive health care screenings, and easy and unobstructed access to abortion. And if we choose to have children, we deserve choices and access to pre and postpartum birth care, breastfeeding support, mental health care, affordable child care, paid parental leave, and pay equity. All of these are reproductive rights. When you attack one of them, you begin to undo and chip away at all of them. So you may ask yourself, what can I do to make sure that our communities in New Mexico continue to have access to reproductive rights and health care and full body autonomy? Let us not adopt powerless identities in this crucial time. If we all have opportunities to recognize that we all have collective and individual power. It doesn't mean it's gonna be easy. It may be uncomfortable for some of you, but we cannot understate our power. So those of you who have financial means, please support local grassroots nonprofit organizations that are on the ground doing the hard work. A lot of the groups that we support that are represented here today um, those that aren't are Black Health New Mexico and their Birth Equity Collaborative, Strong Families, Bold Futures New Mexico, Southwest Organizing Projects Con Mujeres Initiative, there's nonprofit birthing centers such as Changing Women Initiative, Breath of My Heart Birthplace, and there's organizations fighting for paid family leave and pay equity such as Olay and the Southwest Women's Law Center. So get involved in your community, learn about the issues from the people who are most impacted by reproductive injustices, and that's primarily people of color, we know that. We know it affects immigrants, LGBTQ plus communities, and folks in rural communities. So we all have a role to play. Gender and reproductive justice is about liberation for all. And I will end with a quote by Leela Watson. If you come here to help me, you are wasting your time. If you have come here because your liberation is bound up with mine, 
then let us work together. Gracias.